Hello everyone. Today we'll go over how to install a self-hosted instance of Superbase on DigitalOcean. Superbase is an open source alternative to Firebase, which allows you to reduce your time to market by providing a ready-to-use backend that includes a database with real-time capabilities, authentication, object storage, and much more. For this tutorial, we'll be using DigitalOcean's Superbase on DEO GitHub repo. This repo has a full explanation of what we'll be doing, as well as any links we'll need. The repo also has a list of prerequisites, as well as links to documentation on how to set up our environment, like creating API tokens to deploy the Superbase instance. Our final outcome will be the following. We'll create an image using Packer, which will be stored on DigitalOcean's snapshot, and we'll use the snapshot in conjunction with Terraform to create all the resources needed to have a fully working self-hosted Superbase instance on DigitalOcean with a few simple CLI commands. First thing to do is to clone or fork the repository as I have done. And once that's done, CD into the Packer directory. And from there, copy the examples Packer variable file and modify it with your own variables. Namely, the DO, API token you created previously, and the region you want to deploy your Superbase instance. Be sure to pick a region close to you or where you'll be serving your customers. For example, our newest data center in Sydney or for myself here in Amsterdam. Once we've modified the file, run the following commands. Packer init, which will initialize Packer, and then Packer build. Be aware that you do need to put a period at the end of the commands. The last command will initiate a build of the required Superbase image and store it as a snapshot on DigitalOcean. The process will take a few minutes, so as Packer does its thing, grab a coffee, and I'll jump to the end of that process. That's it. Packer has finished, and we now have a Superbase snapshot which we can use to deploy within DigitalOcean. To do this, let's go into the Terraform directory. Copy the Terraform variables example file, as we did with Packer, and modify the appropriate variables, like the required API tokens for DO, DO's object storage, and send grid, as well as your region. This should be the same region where you stored your snapshot. Your Superbase data domain information, and some SMTP settings for SendGrid. Should you wish to modify any of the optional variables like allowed SSH keys and more, do this now. Once that's done, run the terraform init command. Which will initialize the terraform project by downloading any required providers. Then run the terraform plan command, which will give you an overview of all the resources which we'll be creating both within DigitalOcean and SendGrid. And you can see the output of this by scrolling up. Finally, run the terraform apply command, which will again give you an overview of all the resources which will be created. And you can start the process by confirming and typing yes. Again, this process may take a few minutes, so I'll jump to the end of it. That's it. Terraform has now created all of our, our resources. But as we're using an unofficial SendGrid provider, there's a small hack we have to do, which is rerun the Terraform apply command. This will verify the domain authentication and link branding resources, which will allow us to send emails. Again, confirm by typing yes, and it should take a few seconds to do. We now want to grab a few Terraform auto-generated secrets, which we will need to access our Superbase instance from the browser and via our application. 
it is important to ensure that you do not store any of these secrets in version control. From our DigitalOcean Cloud Portal, we can see that our droplet has been created and deployed. And as our droplet is deployed and boots up, it will launch Docker Compose and start downloading all the images needed to run Superbase. This is where you'll have to wait a little longer before accessing our Superbase instance, as it will take a while to download all the images. So grab a coffee and take a 10 minute break while I jump ahead in time. Okay. I've waited for all the images to be downloaded and initialized on my drop. This means I can go to my Superbase domain. Where I'll be presented with a pop-up box where I'll have to input my username and password to access the instance. This will be whatever username you've specified in your Terraform variable files. For me, that's tmarmo. And the password, which you got from outputting at the end of the Terraform process. And there you have it, own fully self-hosted Superbase instance running on DigitalOcean. This tutorial is also available on our DigitalOcean Developer Center, where you can go through the steps at your own pace. Should you have any questions or issues, head over to the Superbase on the O repo and join the discussion. Happy building.